Hey guys, what's up? This is Emmy Girl, and uh, I just wanted to say before this episode starts, the reason that I didn't post earlier on today was because I did have. Uh, I'll just explain it. Basically, my birthday is on Tuesday, and I had a giant birthday party with all my family, and yeah, so that was why I wasn't able to post it earlier, um, but, yeah, I hope you guys, um, understand, and I really hope you guys enjoy, and, yeah, so, without further ado, enjoy the video. Good, you're here. I've already informed you on your task. Just send the fake girl through the portal. Once she is in this dimension, my cousin Andy will be safe from Luca. I must return home soon. Do you understand? Yes, my lady. I understand. Good. Go now. Andy will be arriving on the server soon. You must send one person through the portal before she goes through. Otherwise, I'm afraid Luca might get to her. He cannot know that she has dragon's blood. Hey guys, what's up? This is Andy Girl, and welcome back to the Legend of the Dragon's Blood. Now, yesterday was kind of insane. Basically, I was pushed on a hole by a really short Enderman looking person. I ended up in this realm, and then I walked up to an ender dragon named Lady Dracon, and she basically told me that I am now the lady of this village that you can kind of see out, the w out of the window. And <laughs> yeah, it's pretty insane. She got up in a hurry and kind of left me this house and the village and everything. It's, uh, it's so insane. Her perfume is really nice, though. I love her room. I mean, dang, nice. Jewelry box. Apparently she likes He-Man, some Neon Cat. And I don't know what that is. <sighs> but yeah, she basically up and... Well, walked through a door. She l up and left, and... <sighs> I didn't really know what to do. Um, because I've never had to run a village before. <laughs> um, and she basically just left it to me, so I, I, I want to do the best that I can. I mean, I don't want these people to go insane because of me. <sighs> I haven't really done a lot. Elemental staff. I haven't really done a lot. Ooh, that's magic. <gasps> that's magic. I don't, I don't want to do anything, though. <sighs> no, 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 no. I haven't re oh. really... Okay. Wow. I haven't really done anything yet. I, I, I kind of want to hang out around the village today, but I also want to go see that elk wood that she mentioned. Wait, is she still there? But, uh, Hunter, just hold on. I, I want to see if she's back. <sighs> no. All there is is a pig. Whoa. Did you guys see that? There's like a tower over there. You kind of see it there. so weird. I kind of want to see what's over there, too. You know, just added bonus sort of a thing. I need to talk to Hunter. <sighs> Hunter? Milady, we have much to discuss today. Right now, we have workers starting on the new wall around the village. It was the last demand of our late Lady Draco. Late? Doesn't late mean, like, dead? <sighs> so... We ask if we could complete the wall. Of course, that's a nice thing to do for Lady Draca. Thank you, Milady. Now, you asked about the escort to you asked about an escort to Elkwood. Elkwood, that's the one place you told me to go. Yes, when can we leave? <sighs> I don't have the parts for a boat yet, but there's a merchant set to come here later. We can ask him for parts. 
That's perfect. Um, okay. I kind of want to ask about the town across the river. That's Rathsville. We haven't been able to make peace with them since the news came out about our, pa our past lady. He leans in and whispers. She was an ender dragon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. What's wrong with ender dragons? Nothing. Everyone in the realm is looking for the dragon's blood to give to Luxico. Lux oh, where's Luxico? You know what? Never mind. I'll probably find out later. They have the ultimate beast and need five more parts to complete it. That's scary. Ultimate beast. Hmm. Also, when the merchant comes, don't tell him you're going to Elkwood. Uh, um, okay. Thank you. Now go check in the town square for the merchant. Well, where's the town square? Is it? Yeah, probably. Oh, Lizzie's gone. L let's go check on in on her. And if you didn't watch the last episode, guys, oh, there they are. Lizzie and Anna are twins, and Anna kind of tricked Lizzie, so. Uh, Lizzie, hi. They seem to be arguing. Best leave them alone. Oh, dear. Uh, l let me just bow out here, guys. Yeah. <coughs> uh, you enjoy your little arguing session there. That was awkward. Okay. Um, is anyone in here? Oh, hi, Addie, the farmer. Oh. Ooh, you're new. Hi, I'm Lady Andy. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I'm Mary. Oh, Miranda, the farmer. Ah, oh, look who we have here. Hello, Andy. Okay. Mary wasn't there last time, so wait. Is she new? <gasps> oh, I love new people in the village. Or maybe she was just out for a stroll when I came in or something. Oh, gosh, there's Lynx. <laughs> we better talk to him, I guess. I'm just standing guard here. The workers will start on the wall tomorrow. How how did you hear about that? I just gave permission for the wall. Never mind. Never mind. Walking away. Walking away. Walking away. I kind of wish there was a blacksmith. I mean, I... Oh! Oh, hello! Hi! <laughs> uh, Math... Milady, I'm Matthew. I'm the blacksmith of Nakara. If there's anything you need, just ask. Oh, really? I can can I see what's in your chest? <laughs> Bread, iron, and an iron helmet? Hmm. Um, uh, Matthew, what about the stuff in the chest? Can can I take that? I don't want to pry or anything, but could I, please? Of course, Milady. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. I want to check out how I look in this helmet. <gasps> Ooh, I look good. Screenshot. JK. <sighs> wow. So, I've met Mary and Matthew. That's a nice combination. Allison Lagarde, hi, friend. Where are you? Mary, hi. Hey, you, where have you, you're scaring me. I kind of don't like how this is like, I might change that, because that bothers me. <gasps> There's the tower then. That's Rathsville. I, I really need to remember names. Ugh, weakness. <laughs> I want to go explore the house, too. House of Lady Andy. That used to say the House of Lady Dracula. I think that they are. Oh, uh, okay. No more feeling bad. Let's explore. Oh, 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 whoa. Hmm. Okay. I I don't want to read it, <sighs> but I really do. Andy, when you read this, I will be gone. Just know that when the people of Luxico come, there's Luxico again. What the heck? Uh, anyway, just know that when the people of Lexico come, don't trust them. They are evil people set to kill all the Ender Dragons. <gasps> what? <laughs> don't tell anyone about who you are. The man who will be sent here's name is Luca. Luca. 
whatever you do, don't trust him. Lady Dracula. What? What? I just got like chills down my spine. Luca. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Engagement ring. News was sent out. And how would she know? Th how would she know that Luca is the one that would come here? I want to ask about this. I want to know who gave Lady Dracula this engagement ring. I mean, you have a right to know, right? The sun's going down. I don't even care. I need to ask Hunter about this. Hunter? Hunter, we need to talk. I found this engagement ring on Lady Draca's desk. I've been thinking. And I, I really... I really just want to know what's what's going on. Oh, that's Lady Draca's ring. I'm so sorry you found it. Well, it's an engagement ring. Who is she gonna marry? Before oh whoa, whoops. Hmm. I guess I responded to that. I'll, I'll read it. Before a word was released about who exactly. Ugh. Before a word was released about who exactly Lady Draca was. She was engaged to a high-ranking prince. A prince? What happened? He found out who she was, and he left to get his father's army. Everyone wants dragon blood for the same reason. To please Lexico, the largest town in the realm. Oh, there. Now I finally know what Lexico is, the largest town in the realm. Well, well who was he? Like, where was he from? He must be a total jerk if he went... About Luxico like that. Her prince was named L Lu What? Her prince was named Luca. He is the prince of L Luxico. Oh my. What? She warned me about him. She said not to trust him. Not. She was engaged to him. I'm gonna go put this away. No. Oh my gosh. She was engaged to Luca? Now I really want to know what was going on. What was going through her head? <sighs> oh my gosh. Mm. I really need to get some more food. I mean, I have bread, but that's about it. Luca. She was actually... <laughs> it says right there. The man who will be sent's name is Luca. Whatever you do, don't trust him. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Keep your calm. <sighs> I, I really need to figure out what's going on here. And... Uh, yeah. I really need to figure out what's going on here. Okay. We have a few guards. Everything like that. Maybe I'll just harvest some wheat. Maybe I'm just hungry. I really just need to relax a little. I mean, all this stuff is on my head. Maybe I just need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> totally. I might be overemphasizing this. I mean... But she did say Luca not to trust him. I really don't know why she's doing this. I'm so confused. I mean, 
she told me not to trust Luca. But how can I not trust him when he was her fiance? I mean, she must have trusted him enough to, you know, marry him. Or going to marry him before he kind of spilled the beans sort of a thing. I mean, was it just all an act? I, I don't get it. I really don't. Makes no sense. Oh. I really, I really just need to focus on the task at hand. I need to improve the town. I need to do all this, do all that. I mean, it's not like he's knocking at my front door. And besides, he was engaged to her, not me. There's nothing that he can say to make him me want to marry him right now because as of right now if he finds out who I am he might tell his father and kill me so I'll just keep who I am to myself my name is Andy Lady Draca appointed me in charge of her village that was it that's my story and I'm not telling it any differently Now I think I should just focus with things near the village, like all this wheat and stuff. Maybe I can go around handing out bread or something. Yeah, that'll be nice. Whatever, to get my mind off things. <sighs> I also think we should have a guard tower. I mean, if they're making a giant wall around the whole village, maybe... Guard tower, too. Maybe we could head over to that place across the river sort of thing and ask if we could borrow how they, like, made it. I mean, <laughs> I love that sound. It's so cute. And maybe if we do that, you know, they'll help us out or something. <laughs> it sounds nice. I'll put the wheat and seeds in there. I mean, I think I should just focus the stuff near here. I mean, L Luca left. He went to get his father. And now Lady Dark has gone. He has no reason to come back here. I think I'm perfectly safe. <sighs> I really think I should improve this pathway. <sighs> mm. Maybe stairs here? <laughs> yeah, I need this. I need to get my mind off things. Put one right there. And then there. And there. I'll take a... I'll shape this area here. <sighs> yeah, I definitely need to do this. Improving the town is a lot easier than trying to figure all this stuff out. I just need to focus on my town. I don't want to disappoint Lady Draca. I mean, she entrusted me with her town. I, I really should just focus on stuff like in-town matters and stuff. <sighs> Maybe get to know Mary and all them. That'll be nice. I just need that. I haven't seen... You talked to me before like we were best friends. You're confusing. What do you mean? All these people are so confusing sometimes. Alright. Yeah. Just, just stay in the town. Just stay in the town. All you need to do. I mean, town needs help. So I'll just... can't help but think if he's gonna come I mean I know I might be worrying over nothing but Lady Draco was so scared that she just left so what if he does come <sighs> I 
Maybe agreeing for that wall thing was a good idea. Because the wall will at least protect us. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I think right now, I think I should just focus on my town. I'll stay here. I won't leave. <sighs> Hopefully the merchant will come. I mean, you wouldn't want to get... I don't know. I don't even know if he'll come. I mean, for all we know, the merchant might not come just because there's an ender dragon in this town. Or there was. Is. I don't know. <sighs> this whole situation is just... It's so confusing. But... It'll be all right. I got this. I'll build a few more houses. We'll expand our town that way. I mean, we'll we'll get stuff done. Maybe I could start getting a few animals. Like, oh wait, oops. Maybe I could start getting a few animals. You know maybe make a giant barn to keep them in or something. Like the cows out there, I could move them closer to the town. This is definitely where I think I should spend my energy instead of worrying about everything that could happen. Because it hasn't happened yet, so, oh well. <sighs> but I think that's a good idea. The whole getting some animals, you know, maybe m having the farms out there so we can make more room for people here. <sighs> okay. I'm I'm just trying to think of like plans that I could do in my head. <sighs> yeah. This is going to work. I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this. Those are like red. Creepy. Mm, don't like squids. <sighs> but what can I do, right? <laughs> Alright. So I guess that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you tune in for the next episode of Legend of Dragon's Blood. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace to my griefers. Bye.